So last week, I got my first win of the season and I uploaded the video on Sunday and it went crazy. Over 100k views in the first two days. In that video, I said, I'm gonna be posting a second video of the week on Wednesday. So here we are. My second round match was against Liam Hignett, who had a UTR of 12.45. And for reference, mine's only at 11.23. He's also played two Futures tournaments over the last few months, and he's also earned himself an ITF Pro Circuit point. So he's definitely at the level I want to be playing at if I want to stand a chance at getting an ATP point. All right, guys, so I've come over here to a little quiet spot just to think about what I'm gonna do in the match. My mindset going into this one is just to play my game, have fun, have good intention, try and serve and volley, be aggressive, try and take the game to him. He's got a one-handed backhand, so maybe pepper the backhand, high spin, low slice, trying to mix it up, drop shots, and just play with variation and make sure I'm just, just being as solid as possible, but accepting my misses, because in a match like this, where you're playing someone who's a lot you know, higher rated than you and better, you really have to go and take your chances and be aggressive, and if you miss, you miss, and just go with the flow, really, and that's gonna be my game plan going into this match. I'm just going to try and have fun. Hope you enjoy the highlights. But first, only 67% of you that watched my last video subscribed. The best way that you can help out the channel is by going down there and smashing that subscribe button. So to begin this match, I wanted to stay true to my word and come into the net and try and be aggressive and put my opponent under pressure. I knew it wouldn't be easy as I played him before and I lost straight sets. I think it was 6-4, 6, four, six so I knew from the beginning I needed to have a big serve and play confidently and also he had a very, very accurate and strong serve as well. So I knew I really had to take the opportunities to attack his second serve as many times as possible. A lot of the points that we played from the baseline were usually going in his favour, so I knew that I had to kind of change my tactics slightly at the beginning of this match and just try and force him into a slightly shorter rally. I think that was a perfect example of what I was trying to do on the second serve. Come in and try and play a first volley. It didn't work all of the time, but that's something I especially want to work on in future matches because I feel in this match it worked really well. So now I'm only one game away from the first set. I know I'm in the driving seat here and now he's under pressure to hold his service game. I got my first two break point opportunities. He fended the first one off with an ace. Let's see what he can do on the second. He got me guessing the wrong way, but I found a way to get another set point.
So it's tie break time. I had a pretty bad record with tie breaks this season. Let's see if I can change that. So I managed to clinch out the first set. I know now that I'm in the driving seat in this match. I'm guaranteed a third set tiebreak, but that's not what I'm thinking about. I'm just thinking, keep playing my game, keep being consistent. I know that a dip's likely to come in this set because I was playing really well the whole first set. And when it does come, I'm just going to deal with it in the best way possible and just keep playing my game and keep doing what I was doing in the first set, which got me the set. So he got himself to break point up and I miss an easy smash which gives him the break. That's just a little lapse in concentration that can really cost you. So now I'm on the back foot in this set and I really have to try and find a way back into this set. I think at 5-2 he's beginning to relax a little bit and he is beginning to play better, play better shots and I'm beginning to dip slightly. So now we're into the match tie break. I took a five minute toilet break just to compose myself. Let's see what I can do in the third set breaker.
So now let's take a look at the finances involved in playing a tournament like this. Unfortunately, I did not get any prize money. If I would have won that match, I would have got £125 guaranteed and the money out was £310. So that included the overall general tournament cost such as travel, which is £70 for petrol, £40 for the tournament entry fee and £200 for the two nights of accommodation. So I'm super happy with my performance overall. Of course, it was really tough having lost in the third set tiebreaker once again. But of course, we're going to move forwards and focus on next week's tournament, which is going to be in Bath. It's a British tour. That vlog is going to come out on Sunday at around 6 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Subscribe and turn notifications on so that you don't miss it. And I'll see you guys in that video. See ya.